Hey YouTube, it's Joe. We're back for another cook. This was an unplanned cook. I was asked if I can smoke a pork butt, so I figured, you know what, why not go ahead and uh, record this and see see what the hopper does. That's really what I'm curious about because I'm always messing with my hopper, but I don't know if I, have a, if I actually have pellet feed issues. So I thought this was uh, going to be a good way to record that. So sit tight, guys. That's what we're going to be doing today. I just turned the dial to 250 degrees. Here's the starter process for somebody that hasn't seen it. That's the glow rod there, the glow plug. It ignites. The opera drops some pellets into that. And pretty soon right here, the smoke will turn into a fire. Oh, look at all that ash. Or that dust, I mean. And that's after me sifting the pellets, guys. So I highly recommend, regardless of what pellet what pellet cooker you're using, sift your pellets and get rid of some of that dust that comes in the bag before you guys pour it in there. And now you can see we got fire. So I'm going to go ahead and put the parts in here. I just cleaned it out. And sit tight, guys. We'll be right back. So I wanted to show you guys something. Low on fuel, refill the hopper with whatever smoke fire hardwood pellets. And there we go. I had actually never tested that to see if it even worked. So I'm glad it does. So, pork what's on guys? Looking good. I normally don't use store bought rubs, but they had Cosmos over at my local Ace. It's the first time I see Cosmos in store and I use a uh, Dirty Bird. So I had to try it and we're going to go ahead and smoke this. We'll check on it in maybe about two or three hours, see how the bark formation is starting to come along and um, we'll go from there guys. So sit tight. So we just filled up the hopper. I'm using um, Weber's Hickory Blend. It stays on the bag that's 40% hickory, 60% oak. Since pellet grills typically tend to have a little bit more of a mild flavor, I thought maybe I'd go a little stronger on the on the wood flavor. But I got my timer set, guys. I want to see how long this thing's going to go without me even messing with a hopper and see if we run into any issues. So sit tight, guys. I'll report back. All right, guys. So we're back. We just hit the two-hour mark. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at these butts or this butt drying out nicely go a little bit longer it's not too bad I think uh, maybe the next two hours I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stick a probe in there and get it ready for the wrap um, I did uh, since I was recording this really to test the uh, the pellet hopper we ran into an issue and it wasn't a jam or it wasn't a void the issue is I fell asleep and my wife woke up and um, she came out here and messed with the pellets to make sure that there was no voids <laughs> and that the pellets were feeding correctly. So um, we've had pellet grills in the past. She's done that. I've done that out of habit. So we're going to go ahead and reset the timer and see how long we can go without messing with these pellets and see if we can, um, I don't know, just see what the results will be. So. Sit tight, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We're back at the smoke fire. This is what the inside of the pellet hopper is looking like. Keep in mind that my wife did mess with the pellets uh, in the first two hours of the cook. So this is um, the pork butt went another five hours. So five hours of not touching the pellets. This is what we got inside the hopper. We're going to go ahead and uh, pull the pork. Show you guys the end result and go from there so sit tight guys so there you have it guys another successful cook on the Weber smoke fire it produced a really good pulled pork had a really good smoke ring and really really good smoke flavor it did go five hours without us messing with the pellet hopper had no issues there next time we're going to try a slightly longer cook and go from there catch you guys on the next one